Hello everyone, I'm Rose Fear, and in this video, we're going to talk about a few things that you should be looking at doing to prep yourself for the Burning Crusade. And obviously, the first one I'm going to talk about is just gold. You'd probably want to go into Burning Crusade with a minimum of 6k gold, just because of the uh, the flight, flight training, things like that. If you can manage to get yourself to around 10k, honestly, that's probably going to be better. That's kind of what I'm aiming for. So if you can get yourself 10k gold before Burning Crusade, that's where you want to be. It's going to help you out a lot. It's basically going to be like going into, it, in my opinion, uh, it's going to be a similar equivalent to going into an expansion in World of Warcraft with about 2 million gold on retail. So I, I don't know for sure, but that's kind of how it feels to me. Um, so get farming. Honestly, there's a few ways to make gold. I'm not going to go over that. There's gold making guides all over. Uh, so getting into something that's more melee specific, uh, I think that you should be preparing your uh, skills and things like that. And one of those things, obviously, is what I'm doing now. Uh, I guess this isn't melee specific, but it will be here in a second. So Level up your fishing and cooking, obviously, if you haven't done that. Uh, fishing is going to be important for one reason, and it's for one boss, Lurker in SSC. And the reason I say that um, is because if there's only one or two people in your guild, like mine back in Burning Crusade, that can actually fish Lurker up because everybody, including myself, was too lazy to actually level their fishing so that you could fish this guy out of the, you know, the, uh, the water or whatever... Man, it's going to suck sitting there waiting for 10 minutes if they're getting really unlucky and you're just watching other people fish. And if you have the whole guild, all 25 people with the fishing able to actually fish this guy out of the water, you're going to get him really quick. At most, you'll be waiting a minute, maybe two. So uh, the, the more people with high level fishing, the better. And it's just it's not hard to do. It just takes a, a few hours and. Honestly, if you can get like the, the iron fishing rod, things like that, you should be looking at getting those also. So yeah, with that being said, go ahead and get your fishing leveled up. You have plenty of time before Burning Crusade. There's not really a whole lot else to do, so make sure you get that done. And one, now actually getting into the melee specific stuff. All right, so getting into the melee specific stuff here, I want to talk about just a couple things. And this is something that's important for warriors, rogues, and hunters to an extent, because it's going to really suck if you end up in a position where you get a new weapon from a quest or a dungeon that you just happen to not have the proficiency to actually use while leveling up. And it wasn't that big of a deal at the beginning of Classic, because honestly, like you just started out with one, you know, like you're still leveling from level one. There's not really anything you can do to prepare for it. So uh, looking at this here, we're going to scroll down a little bit uh, too much. All right. So you can see, I haven't spent a whole lot of time focusing on my weapon skills. I'm going to be doing this here in the near future, where I'm just going to buy some cheap weapons and get some intellect gear to help me level up my weapon skills slightly faster. And I'm going to get all of these skills, at least uh, I'm not going to worry about the ranged weapons all that much, because honestly, I'm not a tank. I'm not going to be using my ranged weapons to pull things. So, but... I'm going to get my two-handed axes, or sorry, two-handed maces up, because that's going to be really, really important for PvP, because those are the main weapons that you'll be wanting to use for PvP in uh, Classic TBC. For Warriors specifically, because of mace stuns, it gets a little bit of a buff, I believe, and it's really, really strong. It's actually insane. I won so many arena matches and duels because of it. Um, you'll want two-handed maces leveled up. Uh, and it's going to have to, it's going to suck, say, if you're doing a dungeon and you get a mace and you can't use it. So another one uh, I'm going to work on, obviously, is uh, regular maces. I'm not going to worry about throne, not going to worry about stabs, not going to worry about guns, not going to worry about crossbows, not going to worry about bows. But I'm going to get my axes up as well. And where is it? I don't think I've learned polearm yet. Um, I'm going to get polearm up as well. And a good example of that is most warriors probably haven't used pole arms, but in uh, Hellfire Ramparts, the last boss has a reasonably high chance to drop a pole arm. I'm not sure how good it is compared to, uh, like, say, Nax level weapons or anything like that, but I do believe it's comparable to some lower end weapons, like maybe the one that I have. Uh, I have to actually look at the stats. But with that being said, there's actually some pole arms that are good. 
and you're going to want to be able to use those. And if you can't just immediately put it on and start smacking things in the face, it's going to feel really bad in the heat of the moment where it's like, oh, cool, I got this weapon. Oh, shit, I can't use it for leveling. Like, I got to go back and work on my weapon skill when I want to be playing Burning Crusade. It's not going to be a good time. So you want to make sure you have your weapon skills up. All right, so those are really the main things that you want to be doing as far as prep goes. Maybe you want to get some consumables as well to go into the expansion with. Uh, I don't know for sure how those chains change exactly. I don't have uh, numbers, and I don't really remember exactly how those change. But you may want to look into getting some consumables as far as like uh, maybe free action potions or something similar. Again, I don't think they work above level 60, so it might be useful at the start of the expansion as far before you start leveling up, getting through two actual dungeons and things like that. Um, because the worst part about Burning Crusade was the launch, right? And the the launch just sucked. Let's let's just put it out there. The launch was terrible, and it was terrible for one reason and one reason only. Uh, if you look at, say, classic vanilla. We had a launch where there was massive, massive, massive numbers of people in the same zones as far as, like, starting zones go. And Blizzard, I don't remember if they put layering in at that time or not, but there, either way, there was too many people in the starting areas. And there was multiple starting areas. There's three starting areas per side, and then once you got through those, you started spreading out through zones, and there was still too many people for the world to handle. Now, let's take all of that from both factions, compress that into one point in the entire game. One point. One place. What do you think is going to happen? Like, one zone the size of Elwyn Forest is going to be filled with all those people, if not more, because Burning Crusade was more popular than Classic. We're probably going to see an influx of players at that time that have just boosted characters up to 58. Like, this is not going to be a good time. It's not going to be a lot of fun. Uh, so just get things. Think about that. Think about how you're going to get to where you're going to go from those points, right? So how are you going to get to Hellfire Ramparts to start your dungeon grinded group? How are you going to get through the PvP suck fest that's going to happen between point A and point B? Just think about those things and prepare some stuff for that. And just be ready for that to be the worst experience of the entire expansion, because honestly, the first, like, say two days are going to be awful, like unplayable, Hellfire Peninsula, unquestable, like don't plan on doing quests, find a dungeon grinding group, uh, get your friends together, do something, right? Because honestly, like, it's going to be rough. Um, the other thing you can do is we get jewel crafting, right? And a lot of people aren't thinking about this. So jewel crafting is going to be huge. There's two things that you want to prepare for. And that's actually getting gems beforehand. Okay, so I went over to the bank here to just illustrate what I'm talking about as far as preparing for jewel crafting. Now, this is my current stockpile, and a lot of these gems, for example, like Citrin here, are currently really, really cheap. You can get them for, like, like it says right there, 65 silver. I think that's an out-of-date number. I'm pretty sure I can get them cheaper than that currently. Uh, I know for a fact that Star Rubies are actually going for about 20 silver right now. I need to update my auction numbers. But um, yes, uh, a lot of these gems are currently really cheap. You can get them and stockpile them now. And that's going to be really important going into the Burning Crusade. Because, uh, and especially like even small things like uh, copper bars, for example, uh, or bronze bars, silver bars, true silver bars, just... Think about, look at this, it's auction for 51 silver. It's probably going to be m like 5 to 10 gold, maybe more. Like, it just the, because people are going to be trying to take advantage of people leveling uh, jewel crafting in the moment, right? So there's going to be a bunch of people that are gonna be like, oh, I'm going to level the new profession. They're going to go to the auction house to get some of the old gems because all the gems for leveling uh, jewel crafting come from vanilla, right? They come from classic. Uh, at least up to about level 300. And they're going to be nearly impossible to get in the moment, right? And it's going to be a uh, first-come, first-served kind of thing. Whoever has the most gold is going to be able to afford this stuff. So stock up now, uh, because jewel crafting for warriors specifically is actually a really good 
uh, profession, I believe, especially going into Wrath of the Lich King. Um, I'm not 100% sure if this was the time that it was, but I'm pretty sure that Wrath of the Lich King, jewel crafting and blacksmithing were the best profession for most players, uh, warriors specifically for DPS, because um, all your sockets, no matter what color it was, they matched. So you would get the uh, the meta, like whatever, not the meta socket. Um, you would get uh, the, the socket bonus. That's what it was. Uh, you would get the socket bonus for every piece of gear, no matter what color you put in there. So you could just be like, well, I don't remember if this is the right one, but we'll just say it is. So like you stack strength gems, uh, and no matter what color it is, you put red gems into blue sockets, you still get the blue socket set bonus or socket bonus, um, whatever that was for that piece of gear. So that's really, really strong. And then blacksmiths get, uh, I think it was two, or is it one extra socket? It doesn't matter. Uh, they get more gem slots, basically. I think they get the, something they put on their belt. I don't remember which one it was. Um, so things like that uh, you want to look at. Maybe you want to level uh, blacksmithing because that's going to be really good for warriors going into rat, sorry, Burning Crusade as well because there's some really good items that you can make for yourself, especially at the beginning. Um, so, yeah, you want to look at essentially preparing for jewel crafting, especially if you want to uh, take be able to level your jewel crafting. Or... Let's say you just want to take advantage of the market. Uh, like I have a couple of friends doing this already. They're buying up the cheap gems. And then when Burning Crusade pre-patch hits or whenever the jewel crafting comes out, they're going to relist them for crazy, insane prices. So just be ready for that. Be prepared. So those are some things that I think you should be looking at as far as like preparing yourself for Burning Crusade goes. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, like it, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.